Tonight, an East Tennessee community is showing what it means to take care of your neighbor. Earlier this week, a Morristown family lost just about everything when their home caught fire. And this isn't the only tragedy this family has had to deal with this year. Six on Your Side's Kristen Gallant spoke with the family today. She joins us now with more on how they're thankful for the community around them. Kristen. Yeah, that's right, Bo. Several fire departments responded to the Taylor's home when it went up in flames. Firefighters described it as very intense. The Taylors are just thankful that everyone made it out of the home and that a few items in the home were salvaged. We've been here for 17 years and we've lived in Kodak for a while, and then we've lived in uh, Morristown here for a little over a year now. Phyllis Cooper, Elizabeth Taylor, and David Taylor, who you see here, along with the Taylor son, were all in their home in Morristown on Monday night. My son came in and told us that he smelled smoke, and by the time we got up out of the chair and got outside, the whole side of our house was engulfed in flames. They were able to save their two dogs and two parakeets, but didn't even have time to grab their wallets or keys. It's the most helpless I've ever felt in my life. Neighbors and friends ran to the rescue, giving them the shoes off their feet and coats off their backs. The outpouring of the love and the sense of community has just been um, overwhelming, something that I've never experienced in my life. Firefighters were able to salvage some family photos while fighting the flames. When it's your house and you see what those 27 or 28 volunteers came and did, just amazing. I just got to give them all the kudos that I can. The most important picture they were able to save, the one of their son who passed away this year. We lost our 42-year-old son Father's in June, day. and they called me on Father's Day and told me he had passed away. Now, they're hoping to find his ashes in the rubble. But for now, they're trying to focus on the good. Their community has pitched in to provide food, clothing, and temporary housing. It's all of Morristown. It is. It's just really come out, and the love and the, what they've showed us is just... Yeah, it really is. Though this family has lost a lot this year, they're grateful for the community that they've gained. The family does plan to rebuild. They say they moved to Morristown to be closer to their church family, and they wouldn't want to live anywhere else, Bo. All right, Kristen, thank you. And the fire, by the way, is still under investigation tonight. But if you would like to find out how you can help this family, you can go to WATE.com.